Hello everyone and welcome to this week's CHC News. I'm Matt Velez. And I'm Jasmine Ramirez. This is what to expect on campus, but before we begin, Andrea Deering in the Career Development Department along with Nancy DeShiel sends out newsletters every week to all the students with great career-focused opportunities on pursuing students' dreams. Here are some great things happening on campus this week. Join us for the 2024 Philadelphia 76ers Sports and Entertainment Career Fair hosted by the Sixers at the Wells Fargo Center on April 9th. If you're interested in breaking into the sports industry, don't miss this unique opportunity to meet professional and college sports employers from Philadelphia, New York, and New Jersey. The Philadelphia 76ers, New Jersey Devils, Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment, and many others will all be in attendance and scouting talent. So come prepared to stand out. Career fairs are the best time for part-time interns and entry-level professionals. Please bring several copies of your resumes to this event. This event is from 12.30 p.m. until 3.30 p.m. A representative from United States Liability Insurance will be tabling outside the Fournier Cafe on Tuesday, April 9th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Their college program provides paid part-time undergraduate positions focused on setting up students for success. This program provides students with the opportunity to learn college credits. U.S. LI is an insurance carrier based in Pennsylvania with Brent offices across the U.S. and Canada, and they focus on underwriting insurance for small businesses. They also have many positions available in our branch offices throughout the U.S. and Canada. U.S. LI are proud members of Berkshire Hathaway, and their goal at U.S. LI is to strengthen our community and culture by representing all races, genders, religions, and sexual orientations, and the students who represent our college program are an important part of working towards that goal. Wednesday, April 10th from 2 to 3 p.m. in Martino 309, there is a presentation about living expenses. This presentation is geared towards students preparing to move off campus the following semester or school year. It reviews expenses, including in renting your first apartment, paying bills, sharing expenses with roommates, creating budgets, and prioritizing necessary living expense versus luxury items. By attending, you are entered to win a giveaway. Eastern University is hosting an event called Cookout with Careers on April 11th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. This is located on the Walton patio with the university. This is presented by the Career, the Center for Career Development. There is a rain date in case anything happens on April 18th. There is a recruitment and career fair at Upper Moreland High School on April 11th from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Discover exciting opportunities for employment within Upper Moreland School District. There will be district-wide positions open at local colleges on site to discuss PA teaching certification, trade school teaching opportunities, competitive salaries and benefit and family-friendly schedules and culture. Visit umtsd.org. And now with the most popular news of the week, join the school with the Summer House Loan for a solar eclipse viewing party today. Eclipse classes will be distributed at 1.45 p.m. with the eclipse starting at 2.08 p.m. and its totality will finish around 3.15. Join admissions online on April 10th from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. to learn about the admissions process for our master level programs at Chestnut Hill College. Admissions will discuss the next steps to enroll for a spring 2024 term, which began in January 2024. Additionally, they will discuss dates and deadlines for summer and fall 2024 enrollment. Receive an application fee waiver for our master's level just for attending. Let's Taco about being roommates. Join Residence Life and Student Engagement for a Roommate Mixer and Walking Tacos event on April 10th from 1 to 2 p.m. in the Student Activities Office. One of the biggest events on campus is back again this year. Agape Latte is a student-led program focused on engaging the CHC community in caffeinated conversations on life, love, and meaning. We host one keynote each year featuring a staff or faculty speaker, Q&A with them, unique talents shared by students, trivia, and more. Coffee, tea, and lots of snacks are provided to keep these caffeinated conversations lively. We are excited to announce that Dr. Ryan Murphy, Assistant Professor of Sociology, will be our Spring 2024 speaker. We are looking for student performers to open our night. Email Sarah Machinsky for more information. Questions? Contact Anna Ryan Bender for, to join our planning team. This will be a partnership between Campus Ministry and Student Athlete Advisory Council. You're accepted. Join Chestnut Hill College to celebrate and commit to becoming part of our Griffin Nation. Our Admitted Students Day is a unique event uh, designed for all students who have been accepted for the upcoming year to become a future Griffin. Chestnut Hill College invites students and families to immerse themselves in the Griffin Nation. Celebrate being a C2 Griffin while learning and delving into your deeper pursuit of your future academic career. You will have the opportunity to speak with faculty, meet new friends, and celebrate your achievements. This event will help you find your people, discover your purpose, and live your passion. Now we'll go to Jasmine Ramirez with the five-day forecast, and afterward, I'll go over the sports that are on campus this week here at CHC. Jasmine? 
Thank you, Matt. And now let's take a look at our five-day forecast. On Monday and Tuesday, we will be experiencing gloomy skies. On Monday, a high of 66 and a low of 37. And Tuesday, a high of 75 and a low of 46. On Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're going to be getting some rain. On Wednesday, a high of 71 and a low of 54. On Thursday, a high of 66 and a low of 54. And on Friday, a high of 63 and a low of 50. This week, we will be experiencing above average temperatures, so make sure to dress accordingly because we will still be getting rain towards the end of the week. <laughs> Don't forget to bring your glasses and watch the solar eclipse later today. Back to you, Matt. Thank you, Jasmine. Now, here are all the on-campus sports for this week. Jasmine and the softball team have their makeup game against Goldie Beacon University, which was canceled due to rain back on March 27th on the softball field on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Men's and women's tennis match up against University of District Columbia on Wednesday, April 10th at 2 p.m. on the tennis courts. And I mentioned to the track team who I want to show some love to. The men and women head to the Stevenson Invitational in Owings Mills, Maryland on April 12th to compete as they continue their outdoor season. Softball takes a diamond for the second time this week with a doubleheader on Saturday the 13th against Dominican University at noon. Men's tennis will return on the 13th as well, taking on Post University also at noon. And a senior day for the softball team, so shout out to Ashley Soto. Finally, we'll see baseball for the first time this week in a doubleheader dueling off against Post University in North Wales, PA on Saturday the 13th as well. It is a very active campus this weekend, but nonetheless, that will conclude CHG News for the week. I'm Matt Filez with Jasmine Ramirez. Go Griffins. God bless. And of course, don't forget to watch the eclipse and have a good day, everyone.